Hi, my name is Nick. I'm a master's student here in the Department of Engineering Science at Simon Fraser University, and the title of my presentation is Mind Reading with Laser Beams. Imagine I hit my head. A doctor can look at a photograph right away and say, yep, you need stitches. And if the injury is internal, I might get a CT scan or an MRI, and again, you get something like a photograph, and you can look at it and say, well, there's your problem, your brain's broken. What if I have epilepsy, which affects over three and a half million Canadians? A lot of times, an epileptic brain and a normal brain, they look the same. Luckily for us, we have one more trick up our sleeve, and that's MEG, or magnetoencephalography, which is a type of functional brain imaging. While an MRI might show you what the brain looks like, an MEG shows you what your brain is doing. It does this by detecting the tiny magnetic fields your brain produces when you pretty much do anything. Now, an MEG has tons of applications, from epilepsy to autism to depression, so why aren't these machines everywhere? Well, a big one is the cost. The MEG machine costs several million dollars as well as the fact that you need to put it in a shielded room to keep the noise out, which again costs even more. And there's also the fact that these machines use a type of sensor known as a squid or superconducting quantum interference device. These sensors need to be super cooled, which means we need to use liquid helium and it also makes the machine large. We need to have a one size fits all helmet. The sensors need to be away from the patient, meaning that the signals that the brain produces are even harder to detect. And all this just adds together to make things tricky. Luckily for us, there's a new technology that I just so happen to be working on, known as OPMs, or optically pumped magnetometers, that solve a lot of these problems. You can use them in the open environment, they don't need to be super cooled, and they actually have a fundamental sensitivity that's a thousand times better than squids, meaning that it could tell us stuff about the brain that we just don't even know, that we don't know yet. And now an optically pumped magnetometer is, you know, the one we use is pretty straightforward. It's a little glass cube, and we take that cube and we fill it with alkali metal. We heat it up so that the metal is vaporized. We take two lasers, put them at 90 degrees to each other, and then we shine them on the cube. One of these lasers is known as the pump, and it just takes all those vaporized metals and points them in one direction. Now the other laser is known as the probe, and it just tells us that, yep, these atoms are all pointed in one direction. The real trick is that when we apply a magnetic field, these atoms begin to precess around it. Just like when you spin a top, it starts to slow down, it precesses. The real trick is that they process at a specific tone, which is proportional to the size of magnetic field, and they can see really tiny magnetic fields like the one inside your brain. So if we use this system, it can show us what the size of the magnetic fields are, and in turn tell us what your brain is doing. So it's time to heat things up, specifically an alkali cube with lasers pointed at it. Thank you.